Oh, we, I know we're going to be going live with some um, with the plunge stuff, but I needed to get this out of the way. So this is a, this week's deliveries, right? Post these deliveries. This is from where is this from? This is from Jake Hassal, Hassan, Hassan, Hassan. Um, okay, let's see. There's a bit of a note here just to make sure it's not. Anything. No, it's just. A, no notes, it's just got my name, I just make sure, I think, just that he knows where it's going. I do that sometimes. And this is a pack of six? No, pack of four. Four. Um, I haven't checked to see what it's, what it's supposed to be, so I'll just go and have a look through. I like the surprise of it all. Like, you know, it's like it's like an unboxing. Like last week, like, uh, that was a surprise. I mean, I knew I'd bought it, but I didn't realize that was it. So here we go. So this is, um, I think this is the one we got from uh, here on, um, I can't remember if it's on Facebook or something, or if we got it from, I should have checked, right? It is, um, but anyway, this is the one to four of Catwoman. And this is from 89. And it's just for mature readers. So this is uh, by Mindy Newell. So it's, um, yeah, it's a female writing a Catwoman's story way back in 1989. And for mature readers. And the artwork is on this is amazing. JJ Birch. Right, check it out. I'm, yeah, I think I might, it might be from here. So it almost reminds me of Howard's work. Uh, oh, actually, no. I wonder if the cover is actually done by... Um, yeah, I can't see the cover artist's name. And but um yeah, so there's about four of them. It goes in the ruins of innocence the Batman's enemy is born. And check that out. It's like such a yeah, such an awesome little cover. Uh I mean like little piece there with a backstory type thing. And then, you know, you've got her in full um full costume. And you've got this one here, so you got you've got that one with her lying um lying there in the past with the cat and then this one goes she has a revenge but it's only the beginning uh, and she's standing over a dude now um it's yeah it's in i guess good condition some is better some is you know different but i mean like these are really cool i mean this is 89 man um this is just when i was getting into um i guess just getting into x-men and stuff this is um uh, and now it's it is time to kill. Like it's the old pounce, the cat pounce. And then we go back to the OG thing. Will they be lovers or the deadliest of enemies? Is that cool or what? It's like his face is in the shadows, but you know, the blue of his um his um what do you call it? Cape stands out. So that's four issue series there uh, of Catwoman by Mindy Neal, JJ Birch, and Michael Bear. Blair? Bear. Bear. B A R Y. Oh, B A I R. So this one here is X Library Books. And I didn't realize there were some hardcovers in it, but it looks like there's a hardcover. Oh no. Is this what I think it is? Or no, I think this is what it is. Yes. These are X Library Books. This is really cool uh, because all I had to do was pay for postage on this, and that was only like eight dollars to get these hard cover, um, a hard cover and three uh, X Men um, trades. So you've got the X Men with wood and purple on art, and this is here. This is um, collecting X Men 2013. Um, Brian Wood and Oliver Coppel, Coppel and Lopez. David Lopez and so it's Jubilee's classic first appearance from X-Men 244. I think I might have that one, I'm not sure. But uh, there's some awesome cover art in here. And you know, you got this one here with a uh, mutant, uh, mutant woman, females. Um, there's Primer. Right? I was looking here, it's like someone's got like XME written there. And um, I like X Library books. I think it's cool because it just means that you got a cheaper, um, like you get to have this um, 
you know, these really cool um, um, red books. They're not like, I mean, that's not something you have to worry about, like making sure you don't, as a collector, you, you, you want to make sure you don't have to, um, you know, damage your stuff. So having something like X Library Books is cool, you know, so you can, you can handle it the way you want. I mean, of course, you're not trying to rip it, but, you know, but look at, check out all the co back covers. And that's a cool thing about um, trades. You can get these extra pieces of the back. Awesome covers, extra artwork. Um, you can see the variant artwork by Dodson, Terry Dodson, Mark Brooks. Um, you know, you've got this really cool one here. And one of the other things, right here, right, say, say this. You could frame these, and I and I probably would, right, if I had the space. But I definitely would. I would take it out, and because I I get I have a whole bunch of frames because I um uh, I like to keep a whole bunch of frames on hand because when you're you know when you're doing stuff like um like conventions and stuff, or you go to conventions and stuff, you come up with a little you know uh, little posters and stuff. So I always like to have a whole bunch of um you know uh, frames around. And so I could basically, you know, grab grab this really cool, you know, have to pick. Do I, you know, this is the hard part. Do I want a frame, a frame for, um, picture on the wall of Storm? And this is the difficult choice of that one, or J. Scott Campbell version of the all the girls, or Milo Minara. How hard is that, man? And then and then not only that. Then you got Scotty Young, right? Scotty Young Mary, and I want to put that on the wall. But the problem then is, it's the last page of the comic on the back of it. So, sorry, Scotty, I'm not that in love with putting you on the wall because I don't want to take away the story. So, in case I give it to somebody, I say, hey, read this, right? If you want a comic, you know, if you want a complete storybook to read, read this, you know, from the, for the X Men, I mean. And I can then I can, at least I get, you know, I get this out of it. Uh, either I get to get that, put that on the wall, or I get to put, you know, um, Storm. And I've always loved Storm. Uh, Storm and Forge that relationship. It's something like it's like I haven't read that relationship for decades, man. Like since it first came out, but it's stuck in my head. And I just wish that that would have gone. With that introduced Storm in the stories now and brought that relationship rather than going with Black Panther because it's just a weird way of coupling they've done with that and I just find it you know whatever it is but it just doesn't feel right in my head so but here we go so well this is X Men Worlds Apart so I guess this is um, okay so this is a, um, this is a mini series by Christopher Yost um, and. Dear Genus Neves. So that's this one here. So I just really want to thank um, Jer um, Jeremy. Um, is it Bryson? What a minute. You know, and even even though these are ex library books, if I remember right, he actually did what, you know, what I. He packed it like this, like in proper cardboard, you know, and um, recycling, and I love the recycling. That's the one thing I always think we should keep to, as collectors. Um, sorry, not collectors. As comic book people, right? Well, I guess we're collectors as well. But as comic book people, we get to recycle. And it's good to recycle old, um, you know, cardboards because then we can just basically send it again and again and again. It's kind of like pay it forward, but you're not adding more rubbish to the bins. You're just basically using it over and over again. And I got stacks, like, at the, like up there, I think, if you can, if you can see that one. Is that way no nope. it's I think it's no nope, it is that way so right back there right so you can see it about um middle let me see if i can get that middle um about there just in front of ha um harley's head is basically all like all the proper sized um comic book um cardboard things that have been sent to me so i'll basically send like when we start doing this um, the sale you know auctions and stuff and i put the comics i'll be sending them in that because you know it's just reusing it those are like a whole year two three years worth of 
that I've been getting slowly, over, you know, that I've been putting away. There's some that come in, like, I mean, uh, they come in sleeve type things, and it's hard to open, so I end up, like, just checking those out. But, you know, some ones like, you know, ones like um, the exercise ones like this, this is really cool, because you can just slip it in there, straight into the thing, and all they do is they go, two, if it's under two centimeters, right, and if you're up to five comics, I think you can squish it in there, it's cheap, it's like about $3.50 or something. As long as in the cardboard, they can't bend it. As yeah, that's that's why I always go like put it in the cardboard, in the cardboard. Okay, so oh, this one's got a backup story as well. So this one looks like it's got. A, this one has um, yeah. So it's got Black Panther twenty six, and it's also it's got um, Marvel team up one hundred from nineteen eighty, and Black Panther twenty six from two thousand one. Uh, Call of the Queen of Wakanda. I I, I know I didn't realize that. She was from. Oh, actually, I see what I mean. She's 2001. They married her off to, I think, Wakanda. See, I've been reading for um, X Men for a while, but the artwork, man, art, well, artwork is, and this is awesome, you know. And it's a cool thing. So here's the thing. So when we were um, with uh, with um, with the library, right, uh, with the Bangor District Library, uh, the City Library. We work quite well. Um, you know, we've been working with them since we started um, Punch. So what's hap What they do is they get like ex library books and they put it into children's pile in the back. And so when when they do like events like out in the park or you know some like um, you know mobile mobile um, libraries, I think they do maybe they do like mobile libraries, but I'm not sure if they take the stamps. So they basically make pins, and I and I've done it myself. So like I basically gone with them and that was uh, that was the empty box of which is a good thing but that would that would really suck but that's an empty empty box of the cage from the net so what happens is that the kids will including myself will will cut out little pieces from the you know from the graphic novels, the hardcover or whatever, but me and Shane just freaked out one time because it, I think they were cutting up like Dark Knight Returns hardcover and I was like, ah, you know, and he said, he called me over, he goes, look, 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 I was like, oh no, 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 <laughs> you know, you know what it's like when you're, uh, when you see that happen and it's like someone is cutting up. So like, so you get, you get a, uh, a clear uh, bit of plastic and you pencil it around and then you cut around that or you would leave it roughly like that, and you just put that there and say, hey, or you, I mean, like, not roughly, but you just cut around it, and um, and this was me just cutting it roughly so I, could, so I could then cut it again. But I ran out of time to cut it and get another one. So what happens with that, right? The reason I'm telling you that, so like this. I, I do word ones as well, because sometimes I think I find them really cool. So what happens then is that you end up like this. This is from, I think this is from, Angela or, or um, is it from Glory? I think it's from the it's the top top um, uh, top cow uh, universe series with with um, there was a story I think it's Architect or something like that. If you did I see that here? Oh no, I must have picked it up before. Yeah, um, it's the whole. Um, you, you you know what I mean when you see it. So these characters, right? Uh, darkness, uh, the a um, angel, all that. So this is me, actually, because kids are cutting this. I mean, like it's there. I'm not gonna. I can't. You know, I can't remove that because I, even though I love to. So we just sit down. Um, you know, this was done at art out of the park. Um, art beat. I think. Yeah, about two thousand twenty. Yeah, and you know, it's just all, it, that just looks so great. And this is done by the um, like for free by by the library, and they they do that every um, most uh, quite a lot of festivals. So someone I think someone did this for me. I don't I don't know if I did it myself or somebody else did it for me. I think I might have cut it out and given it, and it was supposed to go on a smaller one uh, like this, but I ended up with a big big bottom big one. So anyway, so you can actually do little ones. So I did a banana, right, <laughs> from my head, right, at the back of the thing. We've got the red dot, 
you know, this is like I'm saying, this is why it's so cool having these badges and having, you know, always having um, them involved with us, uh, the library. So, you know, I've got Cyclops from an X-Men book. I got Gambit. And I collect these. Sorry, you didn't see that properly. And so I end up, and then, like, of course, there's Red Dot. Shane's art, whoops, Shane's artwork there. Um, and also, you know, X-Men, um, X-Men, Wolverine, classic Wolverine, um, Superman, you know, in tears. Um, so yeah, stuff like that. But I've got like, I mean, got, got an older ones from, by buying it from second hand shop. So this is Mickey and, Mickey and Minnie, way, way, way old, like, way old. Um, and then I ended up finding this. Asterix, so that's pretty happy. So I'm always on, on the hunt for stuff like that. So you look at this one. So they put a green backing on this one, on Plunge. Um, yeah, so, you know, and there's a Cars one. Oh, here's, this is this is pretty cool. Check this out. So I have this, um, last couple of weeks I bought this. All right. Okay, so, and now I just find in my set that this this is i've had this for quite a couple a couple of weeks right so yeah car the actual big car toy and i think this makes sounds so it's like i think the battery's flat or something but it's but it's got a button at the top to make sounds so i'm i'm collecting cars now so yeah that's pretty cool right so uh, oh bad girl barbara gordon isn't that cool so yeah, I, I, and it's just such a, um, having that happen is such a cool thing. Oh, I've, I've got the red one as well, All right? Um, and like I said, we have our, um, uh, our own sort of, um, oh, and I found this, <laughs> It's just, it's kind of like a 3D, um, yeah. So, you know, this is the next one I want to get done up. Because I've just cut up ones that are, and I've kept a hold of them after a year or two because I want it done up um, and I like, you know, and add to it. So this is the thing that you, you know, you can do. Like I could take, um, of course, I collect all sorts of badges, right? So, and my Wonder Woman one as well. So there's um, Empire Strikes Back 40 and that one. So, right. And also, I'm like, you got Umbrella Squad, uh, Umbrella Academy, Umbrella. Um, let's put that away. So, so when you got like something like, um, you know, where are we? So, this one's got like, like I said, it's got the old, from the 1980s, this is a Claremont, and um, yeah, Marvel, Marvel team up. Claremont story, Storm and Black Panther story is backwards, um, you know, but um, yeah, and the artwork is amazing in this. It's like oh, this one kind of this kind of reminds me of what happens in the one of the scenes in um, um, and in Critical. Um, looks pretty cool. Yeah, just such a cool thing. Um, I just want to. Hold on for a sec, I want to show you guys something. <laughs> it's something that, like, Rico, because Rico popped around on Thursday night, I think it was, and he, um, man, uh, uh, you know, this is a pile. I'll get to Rico's pile in a minute, but I want to show you something very, very weird. Um, it's to do with proportions. And, um, and I was, like, saying, why are you giving me this? And then he's like, so I had a look and I looked at proportions and I was like, oh, I get, I get, I, I get it. I get it. I get why you, that, that's in this pile. And I got a huge pile of free ones. So I'm going to show you the guys in a minute. So have a look at this, right? I better not forget to make this pile to show off. All right. Well, to show off, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So have a look at this proportion here, right? This is the same sort of look down of a female looking down at a um, at a male right on the ground and you look at the proportion there hopefully it's on the right angle that you can see it straight sorry it's getting the lights coming in right so you can see that right look at the leg size it's perfect 
symmetry to proportion and angle. Now, have a look at this. Uh, this is where this is where proportions are wrong. So you look at the hip, uh, you look at the groin area and the thighs. It's just wrong proportion and it's the same it's the same you know you can like i don't know how well you can talk from there but it's the same sort of um this is power man iron fist nine civil war two uh i don't know let's have a look who did the cover for this because it's just yeah and here's the thing right so uh i'm not a i'm not a great illustrator i i i try you know so i don't i'm not trying to say that i'm i'm anything better but i'm just so when you look at Let's have a look. So, just see if I can get the glare off. Okay, so that's it there. So you can get a better look at it with a, with a cover. plastic cover off. Uh, cover for this is Sanford Green. All right, so I don't know much about it because this is a, I think this is a period that I was... I just got out of comics or something. Yeah, that's a year after December. So it's a whole year after. The co I closed this comic shop, so I hadn't seen these. Uh, so I'm not... So in, who's the inside artist? Right, so he's the inside artist as well. So, you know, it's just, um, yeah, I, the cover, like the proportions just look wrong. Like you look at this, Captain Marvel looks like a dude, but look at Storm in the back there, right? And I haven't read this comic, so I'm just looking at it for the first time. And it's like, she looks like a dude. And I think this is when everybody was saying that, why is she looking like a dude? Why does she look ugly? I like, no, she looks masculine. And like, you know, and it's just sort of, yeah, it's kind of, it's a weird, weird way to go to make, a, you know, females look uh, more masculine in the facial features. Uh, I think you, it's, you got to have this balance. Anyway, enough of that. But yeah, so as you can see, that's why, yeah, I, I wasn't going to point it out. Same, same, um, same thing, but different. Totally weird. It's like the, the middle of her body just went out with this thing. And then when it came back in, it stayed in, in a larger form right now. But anyway, back to this one. So check that out. That's a pretty cool um, two-page spread. All right. So, and like I said, there was a um, there's a first appearance thing. I'm not first appearance. The team up, and I was just going to say it's not even. There's something here as well that's a bit out. I'm not too sure who the artist is, but check out the eyes on this one. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. It's not, you know, the eyes on, the, yeah, the eyes are just kind of, where are we? Let's make sure that, yeah, check the eyes on Storm. Anyway, it kind of doesn't look like Storm to me, but that's because I'm used to like, and that was 1980s, so I guess, uh, you know, I was into like 87, 88. Okay, the other cool thing is there's a hardcover book. Right, and this is divided. He stands. This is um, X Men Legacy. Uh, in the wake of Messiah, uh, Messiah, Comp Messiah Complex X Complex, this is collecting Le X Men Legacy 208 212. So, hardcover, isn't that cool? So, here's a cool thing I like. Hopefully, there isn't too much uh, damage on the actual comic because. Yeah, you know, with this one you can basically just remove. Yeah, you can basically remove the cover all together, and it's no longer. Um, the only thing I can see that's that might be an issue, yeah, you know, is that the back there. But I, I mean, it's it's an awesome book. I mean, like seriously, it's like I mean, you got a hard cover. It's not often, you know, like I said that. Um, you know, libraries basically use it for something else or they just put it away. People take it away for 50 cents or something. Look at that. That's a cool, pretty, pretty cool gambit. Uh, uh, it's a, it's a two-page 
No, it's not a two-page spread. But it looks like a two. It almost looks like a two-page spread. And then also you get the covers. But the, the I kind of like um, I rather have the covers at the back, like um, like the you know, because I know sometimes they do those to say hey this is next issue, but I rather have the covers at the back because that way it's like you can you're not getting distracted. So any other back matter info should be at the back. There's some really cool, um, yeah, there's some really cool designs in here, artwork, characters. I almost thought that was like, um, even though these like, I think these are flying things. Don't even know who these are, but, um, uh, but kind of reminds me of like our, our villain's um, uniform from Super, um, from Incredible, or from the Plunge Universe, I should say. Um, but yeah, there's such a, there's so much cool um, artwork um previous to like 2015 2016 i mean seriously i don't know i might make a mistake i might say this this is you know um came out recently and i could be wrong but um but i think this is like way earlier so let me just check the year so this is 2008 so i can yeah i can say well yeah it works awesome quality right compared to that one i just showed you before um with miss marvel from 2016 or something like or captain marvel what was it iron power man and iron fist all right next one is like this is wayne duffy right if you know sorry wayne mcduffie if you know who wayne mcduffie is you're in the in crowd all right and the no crowd no at all, no at all. In crowd. so this one uh, this is Wayne McDuffie, is a guy who created the whole. Oh, no, I forgot him. Yeah, it'll come to me soon. So he created this, um, the whole um, um, black character universe, like uh, Static Shock and that, which have just revived again. And um, he passed away, I think he had cancer. Cancer? I think it might have been cancer. I might be wrong there, but he did have a, you know, a disease. He died from a disease. So, incurable disease. So, you know, he's a writer on this, and Val uh, Samix is an artist, and this is a, um, yeah, Static Shock, uh, TV's Justice League Unlimited, and then you got Val Samix, he's a one, DC One Million and Lobo, and then Dan Green, Justice League of America and Wolverine. So this is issues, Batman, this is, sorry, Batman Blink, collecting Batman Legends of Dark Knight, 156 to 158 and then 164 to 167 so that's pretty cool right i mean i, I just um there's some really cool flashback type things so it's black and white i, I hope it's flashback type things um but yeah so it's really cool i think that the idea of doing a flashback like that is pretty cool we've been like this morning i was discussing about um and it looks like it goes through this um this one story it does that with a character scene. So today, I mean, I had a three-hour meeting this morning with the U.S. Um, and um, look at that bat, bat glider. <laughs> I haven't seen bat glider for a long time. I don't even think I, if I have seen it at all. Um, but the Batmobile of that time, is that cool or what? So. Um, is it the puppeteer or what is that toy master yeah so I, I can't remember if i've read this or not i don't think i've read shit over the bed that much uh, yeah yeah this was brought up today uh, like batman looking at the screens and stuff but yeah we're talking about like how to um how to show somebody in somebody's head all right um or someone that lives in some um, a being that lives inside somebody's head like a body snatcher type situation how do you show that on 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 um on a comic book so do you you know do you do an outline uh, over that person the first thing or do you kind of like make that whenever that person's talking or this being is talking you make it a um a negative so you can tell so like you know so same thing here so like this one bring that up so you go you don't run away you don't really come back to me yeah so you get the, you know you sort of get the black and white so 
you could you could do that. You could do colorless whenever that person appears, and you go back there. All right, so that is the four books I was able to get, and that's basically it only cost me eight bucks. So it's two dollars each for four X library books, including one hardcover. You know, that's pretty cool. And thanks, Jeremy, for that. I mean, awesome dude. Appreciate it. Uh, I know he basically said, "Oh God, he's got it. Anybody want it?" Just pay for posted. I was like, I'll take anything you got because I just like books. I like, I like, especially I love comic books, and you know, it's just, it's, it's just great to um, sell. You know, not celebrate, but I, I don't think people read enough nowadays. And comics is a good way to get people to read and kids to read and stuff. I think um, education has to be self. Um, there's a hot like when you get older, past the stage where you get past the. You know, when you leave high school, you should still be reading books to educate yourself about the past, uh, about the current things, and anything that, you know, to educate you. And I think for me, because I had special reading classes, because I couldn't read, couldn't spell, you know, when I got here, because I was, you know, a seven year old kid from Fiji learning how to speak English uh, all the time for the first time. So I was getting taught to speak English. When I was, you know, when we were in Fiji, you're still taught a little bit of English, you know, but you're always speaking bilingual anyway. So you're always, um, you know, 80, 90% of the time you're speaking in your own tongue, which is Hindi, right? If you're Indian. And uh, and also, if you're Fijian, it's more at a level of maybe 60, 40. So you know your own language, but you still speak English to um, communicate with um, um, Indians or even... Um, learn Hindi yourself and I know quite of the older crowd know how to speak Fijian. Uh, me, because I left, you know, I moved over to New Zealand with my mom at a very early age, I didn't have that sort of um, upbringing where I was, you know, learned multi, you know, multicultural, at least three languages sort of thing, which I, you know, I think is a great thing if you're living in Fiji to do that because you know, it just shows, um, it's not, a, it's, it shows kind of like a respect thing as well, I think, in a sense that not, you don't have to know everything, but enough to be able to say, hello, how are you doing, and, you know, um, and so you can just break the barrier of, like, you know, across cultures, I think, it's not, not a pushy thing, it's just feel for it, but I mean, the other thing is, like, you know, it, it's kind of like, um, a lot more people, younger ones are really, because when the TV got introduced, a lot more people were learning how to speak English and stuff in Fiji from watching TV and stuff and pushing more into that. So the younger generation are quite fluent, but you know, it's still kind of like a Fiji and Hindi. Okay. All right, so this is the next lot before we go to get all the awesome stuff that I was able to get off um, Rico. Man, that pile, I mean, he said, you have a huge file, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't think I've got a huge file. He goes, no, you got a huge file. You're going to need to bring um, Jason and carry it if you, if you want to pick it up, or I can drop it off. All right, so this is a lot from Crazy One. I would really like to know his, his real name and stuff, <laughs> but that's okay. But I, So I follow him on Instagram, and he follows me on Instagram. I think it's after since we, you know, uh, figured out who we were and I'm sure he hangs out on on the NZCNC page here uh, and on our uh, uh, yeah which one of, my, uh, one of my best mates Rico is a a um, admin on and I think it was him and a friend that created it a while back and he's a great guy so and that's a great group so if, if you live in New Zealand and you're into comics you should already know to, where to go, you know that you should be on that group already. But it's also a great, um, um, you know, it's it's um, it's a great place because you know who you can trust and you can't who you can't trust because it's, people get them out, you know. And so you, when you're buying stuff, at um, sorry, my rubbish bin there, but I earlier took it outside so I could get move around and find out what the um, transformers toys were. Right? All right, so this is. Uh, like a weekly purchase over se um, like several weeks, I mean several months, not several months, maybe about three months, four months. Uh, and so, you know, this is from the 
sorry about that noise but this is from a trade me auction and um trade me auctions i should say and um gosh i really packed it up this is really cool see look right, lots of plastic so it's wrapped in a, um, a ring um plastic um folder thing protect um to protect it all and then then you put the cardboard around it again so it's all solid doesn't move around and can't be bent which I'm grateful for, and I, and I like it how, um, because I ask everybody to do this, to put it in a, in a cardboard, um, you know, backing, because we don't, we don't, like when, you know, I've said this before, it's, you've got to have a good, um, um, honor system between the seller and the buyer, and so, you know, because at the end of the day, you're trying to, you want to make sure that the, what you what you bought or put it on or whatever arrives the way it was pictured when it left i mean when it, when it was shown and so i'm i'm really excited that's why i think NZCNC is really cool and then also we you know you kind of like um excuse me just need to get some water um yeah it's kind of like a batting thing vetting v-e-t-t-i-n-g and that allows for like um you know, a lot, you know, like I said, honor system and people know who you trust. And if you, you can ask, hey, have you, have you, um, you know, of course, you know, you got trade me has their own little, yes, I liked it. Yeah, he's a good person and all that. But also you can say, you know, have you guys dealt with this person? You get a good, risk, you know, you get an immediate response almost if they, if they have. And so it's a, it's, um, it's really, um, it's really cool to be part of groups like this. I know there's also a um, toy collection site as well on Facebook. And so the next slot, this is like, this is a pile, right? So this is a good pile. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So there we go. So there's six, seven, eight. All right. So I'm putting it together. So it's in this. When we do this, you can see it's what it is. Okay, that one goes there. That one goes there. Right. So let's start with um, something old. Right. Something old. This is typhoid Mary. Polybag, nineteen ninety four, near mint. I didn't even realize it was polybagged. So let's have a look. Um, and I read the Typhoid Mary story recently. Right? And um, I don't know if this is a first appearance because I know she's part of um, the Daredevil range. Um, so this includes inside bonus 16 page preview of the upcoming um, Spider Man series. So the reason this is, um, if I remember right, the reason this is um, polybag is because this is supposed to be, uh, yeah. So this is from, gosh, I don't think, um, it also, oh, yeah, it does. So I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's got to actually, what is it called? Um, a silver, a, I like this, silver, like it's a bluish silver paint. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to come out. Um, so I don't need to read this, um, but, or open it or anything. It's just great the way it is. So it's really well looked after. And the other thing is, so it says here, and so when Crazy One put it up for trade uh, auction, I noted that there's a, an each, and so in, in here is a, is a different four color animation style print based on the show collect all six so there is that so um yeah so it'd be nice to see what they are but i'm sure i can just look up online to see what was in this one so i don't have to worry about it so that i guess this is 1990s or something maybe because i'm looking at the art style here and this is this is a newsstand as well so hopefully it is a newsstand because some like there was a period where they had newsstand but it was actually not newsstand it was just um 
it was just regular. So it was it was just regular um, direct stores. It wasn't like anything special. So it just had the barcode. But then they had the direct stores and two newsstands. Um, so I might have something here that I can show you. No, I think I only bought the newsstand list. Okay, so this is Typhoid Mary, and it's like, oh yeah, 1994. So the Spider-Man, um, yeah, and, you know, it's a near mint, still poly bag, unopened. I'm really happy about that. So, it's got some numbers here. It's got, it's 2111.04, so maybe that's when he got it. But yeah, and let's say with Spider-Man, so here's, um, Here's a 1 in 25 Kamuni Kuli, Kamuni Kuli variant of Spider-Man number 2. So there's this one here. I'm not sure. Is it the Vulture? I'm not sure who that is in the back there. But yeah, I like the cover. I thought it was quite cool. And I like variant covers. Like I, you guys know me by now. But I, I, I like cover art and I like variant covers. And I'll just, you know, I buy comics with covers, um, cover art because... I, yeah, I am not too, yeah, anyway, so here's, an, uh, here's um, another older one, right, so this is um, two Daredevils, uh, two, five, two, three, three, and two, hold on, two, three, two, and I just make sure I'm not going over my time, nope, so this is two, three, two, and two, three, three, this is from 1986, so, Check this out. So this is a two. Uh, um, the flag on fire. I wonder. I think that's the first nuke. I'm not sure, but I think this might be the first nuke. And um, nuke didn't. I haven't seen any. Like I didn't even know who nuke was. So I thought the first time nuke appeared was um, Wolverine Origins, written written by Danny Way. So you have him with like tattooed face that has like the um, the flag on it. And so this is. This is him here. That's nuke there. Alright. So this is a two two issue, kind of like the first appearance thing of nuke. So here's um a different one from uh nineteen eighty four. Yeah, it looks like might be wrong. My eyes has not the great one. It's like here we go in a small room. So it's nineteen eighty four and also both of them, uh those two other daredevils are Mazucello. Mazuchilu, Chili, Mazuchili, Chile, 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 something like that. Anyway, so this is uh, Captain America 352, three, um, 1984. Good work, man. The Avengers have murdered the Soviet super soldiers. That's this one here. And if I remember right, um, it's, some, it's like the first appearance of these guys. Um, all right, so next up is uh, Ryan Stegman's um, Venom Run and also uh, Danny Way's and Medina's. And so Donny Kate's uh, number one legacy. I think this might be a variant, I'm not sure. Um, 2018, very fine. Uh, he reckons 2.8. So, oh, 8.0. Um, yeah. I think that's basically what my, my first appearance of Deadpool is going to look like. Because we we're questioning this before. Because um, one of the guys, and this is a cool thing about NZCNC. is one of the guys on NZCNC uh, um, just got their CGC um, rated first appearance of Deadpool. So, what I wanted to do was, like, I have this really this thing where I want to marry up what I have the first appearance of um, with the toy kind of thing or something like that I don't know anyway but I just yeah so this is um, I think this is a variant not sure or is a direct edition this is from 2003 Danny Way right, or Daniel Way uh, Venom and the last one on this list is, um, let me see, Harlequin 2021, so this one last year, annual. 
and it's a chew annual. I think last time I had a um, cat one annual. But I love these chew um, artworks. It's just like, it's almost like um, it's a gloss look to them, and it's such a cool. I think I mean it's, it looks like it's digital. Um, no, yeah, it's it's either airbrushed or digital. It looks like digital, but it's just such a cool. You know, he's got the colors right, the black and red, um, and you know, or oh, uh, black and blue. Sorry, kind of black and black and red, and you can't go away from the classic look of um, of um, Harley Quinn. Because everybody recognizes that color on her, the checkered red and, red and black. It's an, it's her identity. So you got to, you know, you got to keep that on. And I think that's what happened with um, what I enjoyed about um, Suicide Squad movie, right? And it was just like, it had the, everybody in the right costume sort of, sort of thing, if I can remember right. Especially, especially her. I think um, it's important um, for... You know, it's like if Batwoman suddenly was wearing, you know, green, you kind of go, what? You know, or yellow. That's not Batwoman. She wears black, all right, or purplish, purplish black, all right, in her costume. So, yeah, so she's got to look, have that costume, um, and unless you change it for some stuff, to like make it, you know, as a variant thing, surely you pop it in there, but, but the main, main thing's got to have the same thing. And yeah, so that's this lot, um, and of course that lot. Now, and I need to put this in this lot because where's that cover? Yeah, so you actually sent in a backing board as well to cover the, you know, the, the face of it, so it doesn't um, get scratched or anything. Now let's have a look at um, oh, about fifty more minutes. Hence, this is one that I thought it would be. So let's have a look at this pile that I won. Ugh. So it's only like, it's weird because I only bid on a couple, but um, Rico did a claim sale at the end, which I hadn't seen, I hadn't noticed that he had a live stream going. So I was just sitting going, okay, claim, claim, claim. And so most of this is gonna, is gonna end up, well, like a lot of it, I don't know, I'll just say. Will end up going to um, to the Blunch Convention, right? So it'll end up going to the Blunch Convention as um, as lots like five packs of comic book fifteen. You can get gifts and start reading uh, for cheap, you know, a couple bucks or something like that. Now I'm looking for I don't know where to put it. So part of this lot was. Um, also, some toys. What did you do? Yeah, I've been trying to work through all the stuff. So there were two. Weird. I have so many bags full of so many, so much toys. I can't remember where I put it. But I'll just do one more quick look around and figure out if there or not. If it's not, I'll carry on. There it is. So, I actually, you know, uh, I actually won this. And they only like, what, four bucks or something. I ended up with this $2 each and nobody else bid it on them. I'm like, what? They're still mint in box. And I'm like, cool, this will be really cool. And I can, um, I can set up with my, um, with my pizza, <laughs> my pizza, um, this one here. Because I've got a whole, I've been collecting, finding a whole lot of like, um, uh, what is it called? Hollow Tangent Region Ninja Little. Um, uh, right. So I want to show you what this looks like. This is just such a cool thing. So this, this is how it opens up. Let me just do this. So uh, it opens up from the bottom, like a clip, like this. It comes up like this. Sorry, close it up from the bottom and it opens up from the top. So you just got to be careful, make sure the gut, um, like the, you know, uh, that's closed. And then when, then you go back with the face of it, with the store front, right? And I really, um, it's kind of weird because, I mean, it's not weird. It's meant to be that way because 
it's it's um you know it's their home under the thing so the pizza place is here all right so you get the pizza store can you see the pizza store right so this is the pizza oh, let me just bring it down so upstairs is the pizza there you go there's you can see now there's a pizza place right but um, so they live you know their place is the bottom here and so you've got this little um area coming through the tunnels and i think there's supposed to be another lot here which is missing and um yeah and i guess there's some extra pieces that are supposed to come up do some more little things uh because there's, pl there's place holes in there for something so i guess yeah and this is their home you got a letter you know and i thought yeah cool i'll get this and these can actually be you know come come and be a part of this as well so i can put them in there like oh i could do like a um like i'm doing with my all my like my, I've, my, I've got a dc set up that i'm uh display suit um over here uh, uh, there i think that is the dc setup yep that's going to be the dc cabinet so all the things over here are dc and then on this side which is over here is batman but across here whoops let me go do that sorry about the shake there so on this side over there uh, right there next to uh, Laura, uh, Laureline and um, Valerian, there's another display unit. And on top of that, there's a whole bunch of like X-Men stuff and Marvel. So that's the Marvel display. So I've got my Batman here. Behind me, I've got the, um, you know, there's supposed to be a DC display. And then on my left is the Marvel display. So I think once I sort out, then I'll have my own little, um, you know, uh, Teenage Mutant. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles display. So this is how this is how it closes, right? It's a, such a great design. Seriously, you really designed this. It's brilliant, and so it closes like that. And so it's like a pizza. <laughs> I just realized now. So it's like a pizza box, right? So it's, so it's missing a piece here, and it's missing a piece here. And um, I guess maybe whoever was playing with it lost it and playing, right? And this. This is old. I, I I don't know if there's a writing on it. Oh, yeah, there's, there's always writing on it. But um, I was just thinking about it. So this is when, this is actually 10 years old. So it's not too old. This is 2012 Viacom International thing. So Playmates Toy Incorporated. All right. Um, so that's pretty cool. Like their home inside, like packed inside a... Um, a pizza pizza box so that's that's really good design i love good design i mean i was talking to um hawk who's a toy designer um but trade and um he runs the rise he's the ceo of rise and comics and we're talking about designing in critical right so this morning on how to make it so um there's not too it's not too top heavy so we end up doing it hollow and then we do it two pieces so it attaches and then we could do this so the head turns around and all this stuff and you can only get to that sort of um information from someone who's actually done that sort of thing and so you know i've discussed this before so then we've got a plate that you can sit on and so when it goes away you know you need a you know you, of course you need a box to send it in but it, but if you, the sand's not there i mean sand just lies on the flat right at the bottom so it's not going to break off the leg so having that two part so i have a friend right now designing it i think i might have mentioned it the other day but yeah designing the toy um um her and a you know, doing a, I'm building it with hand, and I'm hoping that we can get a 12 inch big one, and then we can use that as a re, um, as a silicon case, build it around it, pour silicon. So now you got like a um, silicon cask of it, and then you can put it together and then take it, take the um, you know the main part away, and then um, and now you got a hollow silicon figure inside. Uh, and then you pour in um, what is called resin, and then you bake the resin, and then you have a figure. And then he can paint it, or I can get some other friends to paint it. The cool thing about living in Fung Ray and doing what I've been doing here for the last, gosh, 10 odd years, because of all the, excuse me, because of all the contacts I've made through the store and the friends of friends, uh, I've been able to. You know get in touch with people for all walks all walks of creative life right so there's people that um you know paint models and stuff 
people who airbrush, people who, um, you know, who create um, cosplay costumes on in their garage. They put together a studio so other people, they can teach other people to do, learn how to do it, you know, and it's just such a great thing. I and mean, like, I mean, you know, and then like, here's the thing. So then if I want to like, um, you know, kind of create a box, I can both probably end up creating a box myself because I could design that box on in there and I could go in and get it made up and then I have it printed, have all the art, you know, the artwork put on that the way I want. That's because we have such a close knit community. It's not like a, it's not like a, uh, uh, you know, metropolitan. It's not like a metropolitan city from Ray. So because it's such, um, you know, like my friend always goes, oh, there's another person I know. You know, there's another, oh, there's another person who goes, well, if you've lived here for about almost 20 years, you know, or close to 15 years, or whatever. People are going to know you and you would have gone to school with them. And of course, you know, and then me, I'm on the other side. It's like, I know the older folk uh, for, and some of the younger folk, mostly, yeah, majority younger folk, but because of being doing the uh, comic book, um, like, sorry, the convention side of things, uh, I've gone to know the older folk a bit more, you know, who are more established artists and who do events and stuff like that and create it themselves. So, yeah, I think um, it's just it's such a, it's such a great, great time to be alive, and it's a great place to live here in Whangarei, uh, because we have such a cool, cool crowd of people. So um, I cannot remember who this is, because I forget names. But this is from um, I think it's a man of arms or something. I don't know, Hordo or something. And this is one of the toys I bid on, I think. And uh, yeah, so I mean, I I got these for two dollars each, um, which I don't know. I feel, I feel good about it getting it but then I feel sad about um, you know Rico have it, not having enough people you know challenge me for or for the auction but against me okay so like let's go back so let's go back to um to Rico's pile so those are the three toys I got out so oh, 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 oh I almost forgot so there is one of the most important thing out of all of this I wanted was this because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, yeah, I was trying to get all the, um, this is for my um, bat, bat display. So I'm trying to get at least one version of all the Batmobiles from Batman. Uh, because I don't, you know, do the comics anymore that much, apart from like, um, I guess I'm going to go back and read the older ones. But um, I do, oh, apart from their own story, that's it. So, but this is from the Arkham, Arkham Asylum Batmobile. Um, so, build your Hot Wheels collection by visiting blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so still mint in box, five, five of five. So there's probably, I guess there's another four out there of this series. And, you know, it's such a cool, I mean, like, I have like one, two, there, two versions there, and then I have like about a dozen, like probably about a dozen in there, in my little um, bat display. Yeah, be gentle. And that's even got Harlequin and um, Joker, different versions of Joker. There's another Joker at the back there, you know, where is it? If you can see the, um, gosh, let me see if you can see the uh, Batman icon logo that's the joker and still went and figure so here's something oh i forgot i was gonna give i was thinking uh i'm a hop, i'm humming and hiring about this because i know uh, my one of my best mates you know is hardcore um and you know conan friend of uh, ben and as i am i got you know i was 2018 conan you know i i collect the books now I had all the books at one point, and they got thrown out. Um, and so, sorry, there we go. There we go. So I've been collecting, um, you know, trying to get back to getting uh, the stuff I used to have in the way of novels, paperbacks. So here is a, um, you know, if I remember right, here saying um, the Frazita. Once are really hard to come by. 
Um, if you guys know Bethesda, right? So this is Conan of Samaria, number two by Robert E. Howard. Uh, and um, Sprague, um, yeah, the Sprague the Kemp and Lynn Carter, man. Like, I, I remember reading these. Um, oh, and this is a, like, look, this is a surround wraparound. Isn't that cool? But um, it's, oh no, it's not a wraparound. It's like, it's copied over. Yeah, it's the same. Weird. I thought it was surround, but at least at the back, you, you get to see it without um, without any text. And then at the front, you get the cover. So, yeah, that's cool. So, and here's the other thing. So, I don't think I've read this one. You know, Novelizations of Hellblade. If I remember right, this was a good book. And so I've been trying to get these as well. Um, and they still cost a bit. I don't, you know, even in second hand. Oh, Hellraiser, I should say. No, Hellblade. You know, novelizations of the Hulk. I don't know if I've read that yet. Um, that's by Peter David, of course, which is where, you know, Peter David is a, um, he's, um, I think I, um, like, so one of the auction, one of the auction items is going to be this. X-Men Visionaries, Peter David. Right, so that's going to be one of the auction items that I've had around. I just haven't listed yet. So, He's he he um novelized this, so this is if I remember, I don't know, like, so it's about his um, so it's about um, Bruce Banner and his wife Patty and pregnancy and stuff, and they don't know if um, you know, what would happen to the baby because of you know, being him being Hulk. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty thick book. Um, and I don't think whoever had it read it. And it just ended, um, bought it and it was ended up in the thing. So, it's 392 pages. So, maybe I'll, I'll jump around and read it. But I definitely got to get into reading these things. But I've been so busy. Like, I haven't slept since yesterday. And then the day before, I had, like yesterday, I had about four hours sleep. The day before, I had three. Because we're doing a lot of awesome things. And got to keep on top of it. But I'm going to sleep all day tomorrow morning. Well, once I get this one week of stuff finished. So this is Conan the Unconquered. So here's the thing. So before, oh, I thought I had Con Conqueror. No. Yeah, there's, I thought there was like um, Conan the Conqueror. It's almost a sword. But anyway, so this is Conan the Unconquered. This is uh, the Sprague the Camp. He's, man, I still love his, yeah. I still like go to secondhand shop to look for these. And I'm doing that again now in my, in my yeah. But basically, I'm what 1949 30 years later I'm going back and collecting books I absolutely love and enjoy reading and the cool thing about these books they're not I don't want to say that they like they're dumbed down or anything like that but they're easily accessible to reading so basically you just go right let me see princess the wine jar crashes the floor with a motion too quick for sight to follow. Um, the, the mercenary snatched off Yasmila's veil, glaring, he recoiled with a curse, his sword leaping into his hand with a broad shimmer of blue steel, his eyes blazed like a trapped tiger. So, you know, it's not, it's kind of this really, um, I don't know, as, as a 15-year-old kid, you know, a teenager, 17-year-old, 19-year-old, I love this stuff. It was just like, you know, um, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I love this stuff, and it was really cool, because it just made me, made me keep reading, as I was saying before, you, you know, it's basically keeping my, um, you know, keeping my brain, um, learning, exercising it, learning new words, you know, uh, the recoil, you know, uh, and there's so many descriptive things there, shimmer, recoil, glaring, you know, uh, blue steel eyes and like And um, those, you know, you, it's kind of like um, you learn new words and so you end up having that in your head. And sometimes when I'm writing, this is a crazy thing, sometimes I'm writing, words will pop up for the sentence and I will we'll go, what does that mean? But it's the perfect word for the sentence. When I'll, I'll look up in the, I'm um, sorry, When I look up in the dictionary, I can see that, um, you know, that um, 
that's the perfect word for it because I I've forgotten. I mean, because you know you, you can only you only we only use that on um, was it like a tenth of our brain, and so you know, and the other nine or whatever is is having all this memory held up in there to remind us, you know, whatever every now and then what we've read, what we've seen. And so that same thing happens with music with me, but like, yeah. So this is um, Conan the Buccaneer, and this is Lestrade the Camp and Lynn Carter again. This is one of a different uh, artist on the art there. Um, not Frazita at all. And I was like, um, so here's something. Um, so this first time in paperback, right? So this is, Conan, Robert D. Oh, so fantasy adventure by the creator of Conan, Robert E. Howard, the Sword Woman. Right, this is in the forties, if I remember right, twenties or forties when he, when um Robert um Robert E. Howard, you know, created um uh, others and the illustrations here is by Stefan um Stefan Fabian. Look at that. Such a cool um. You know art. It's just yeah, such a cool sword, and such a, it's such a thin book, you know. It's like um, and it's let me see, and it's got some illustrations. So that's what they meant, uh, Stefan um, Fab Fabian, right? And I'm gonna need to show this to um, Shane. I think that might be the only one they put in there. Yeah, and. Oh no, no, no. Here's another look at that. All right. And um it's just yeah. I don't remember if I ever did co um, drew Conan, but I could draw that well at a stage like that when I was in my younger teens. Or in my later teens, because yeah. I was really good until I had my injury. And lost the use of the hand and I never sort of retaught myself. Which is quite a bummer. But look, look at that. Is that cool? I need to read this. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, yeah, there's. Oh, on a ship. What would. That would make a beautiful cover for any comic book. You know, all these. It's just such a. You know, such a great art. I guess this is what they call light novels. I always have confusion when it comes to manga. What's manga? What's light novels? And people go, "Was it? It's a, it's illustration, um, and then underneath that is, um, that's what my understanding is. I probably am wrong, hundred uh, percent. That that's a light novel. So, yeah. So Buccaneer Swordswoman. All right. So that is that was all from Conan. <laughs> all right. So this is the annual. Giant size annual number 10, 1986. It's a, it's, you know, it's, it's got rips and stuff, but I mean, I don't care, you know, and I think this was a part of a free one. Yeah, free lot, but I just love it. I think it's cool. So there is uh, some image books here. Um, you got Boof, and then you got Boof and the Bruce Chew, and there's number two and number one, and you can see that, uh, like that. You know, way back then, you can see the animated style they were doing with it. And oh, I guess this is about 90s. Um, then you got a free comic book. I think I actually might have bid on this. I'm not sure. So this is a Viz comic uh, free. Sorry about the backwards. Um, Dragon Ball's Dragon Ball. Uh, story and other Akira Toriyama. And oh, look. Arkham City Comics. This is Joker 0962. Uh, and then it's a flip book. Yep, it's a flip book. So on the back, you have um, you have Rurouni Kinche. Rurouni Kinche. I love that too. I watched the, I think I've seen some of the um, anime, but I've seen the live action. I think I might have seen the entire live action, or I might have missed it. So this has got a story in that by. Naburu Hiro uh, Watsuki. And it's got a special poster as well inside. Is that cool? It says here. Yeah. So this is from v Viz and Shonen Jump. So hopefully, let's have a look at the poster. You know, since we're having a look. Let's have a look. 
And I love free comic book um, day comics because, oh, it looks like there's a large poster. No, that's weird. Huh. But it's cool. Right. You know, I could frame that. I think I've got a big enough frame. So, you've got this. This is a Dragon Ball. Right. And then you flip over. You have... Um, you know, more classic, you know, more classic manga style. Oh. Why is that like doing that to me? I don't know. Is that cool? So, yeah. Um... And this is like it's it's enlarged, right? So everything's enlarged. It's in English and stuff. Um, yeah, I do I do love um, Rodrigo Rodrigo Kinsey. It's such a really cool um, uh, historic fiction, if I remember right. And um, you know, and the fight scenes are so amazing. You know, Japanese and um, Koreans and um, Chinese. And also, but really, Japanese really do really good. Um, um, what is it called? Martial arts stuff. Koreans do really good gangster, um, gangster movie stuff. Um, and and I guess um, Chinese uh, China does a lot of. Um, Chinese do a lot of um, historic fiction type stuff or actual historic stuff, like the Red Wall. I think it was that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Okay, so, oh, I have roof number one, and I have roof number two, so there's two lots of it, I wonder if you knew that, so, yeah, same, I've got, I've got two sets of these, right, this is cool, so one and two, and one, yeah, one and two again, didn't know that, so that's pretty cool, so one's a bit more, quali better quality than the other one, so that's from Image, from whenever, and okay, so there's Stormwatch number two from me. I think I might have bid on this one. Scott Clark and Trevor Scott. <laughs> Scott Clark and Trevor Scott. Scotty! Look at that. Stormwatch. This is a, um, this is a company that um, Jim Lee, and that's Jim Lee Art, by the way, uh, that Jim Lee sold to. Um, this is 93. It's got on the here this J Lee art. How's that? So I think it was last year, the year before that J Lee got got an uh, well, it was Tom, Tom King's fault, and um, he went and went after um, J Lee, and J Lee put him in his place. This is um, number one of Crash Ryan. This is from the FX comics, so that's like your creator owned. Um, series and this is number one of four limited series uh by ron harris so i guess the art and um you know art and stories by ron harris and it's a rip around cover that's kind of like a sci-fi so it, it, the weird thing is it looks like it's like a you know world war ii um looking uh airplane um i'm oh, sorry pilot fighter pilot and then suddenly on the back you go it's like yeah, like a spaceship looking things. Look at that. Cool. All right. So this is um, Ex Zombies. Ex Zombies from Devil's Due. Devil's Due. I think it's Devil's Due uh, Publishing. DDP. And this is Ex Zombies Reanimated number one. And I think they've got number. So there's a special animated style cover with James. Yeah, so James Barry, James Far. So this is like that one there. And okay, so this is Spider Island Hurt. I don't know if you read the Spider Island series. Um, so yeah, don't know much about it. Um, or the whole Gwen Paul, oh, not Gwen Paul, Gwen Stacy, Spider Gwen thing. That yeah. That just you didn't even get into that. So this is one um, from Marvel Comics, Nightwatch, 
and this is from like the 90s or late 80s which is like i can tell because wws raw is war that attitude era i think that they tried to bring in because they had the nwa doing their thing which is like a really huge place to be in wrestling so there's this other one that we're talking about with the proportion thing okay so that's gone all right so there's spider-man 325 um as this one it's such a cool cover where it's gold the artwork is really cool on this it's another one of those free books i mean this this huge pile of just free books here yeah. so this is gambit and they turn externals um la roca the la roca is the artwork on that it's really cool yeah such a cool thing so yeah there's gambit uh, X-Men Deluxe. Another X-Men Deluxe is X-Factor or Factor X. I don't remember, uh, I can't remember if I read these, but I know way back then I used to like buy everything with mutants. So you got another one. Um, so this is after Xavier the Age of Apocalypse. This one's um, after Xavier the Age. But, so it's just, what number is that? Oh yeah, no, it's up at the top. Oh. May, oh, so it's May, June, so number three and number four. This is a cool one. Uh, this is um, X Men two nine nine. I think I might have bid, the, bid on this one. Um, this is 20, 20 nine nine. Sorry. So yeah, X Men of the Future. Um, this is one of the ones I bid on. This is a uh, Monsters of the Month variant cover of Harlequin. From uh, DC 52 era. This is another one I bid on uh, because it's a, um, I like the cover. George Jimmy's. Um, this is Young Justice number one. This is when, like, one of the first ones that, you know, they had been to start writing for DC. So it's a very cover. It's a cool cover. Um, yeah. Isn't it like. Have a look at this cover. Okay. So this is um, Sp uh, Superboy checking out the chick. And the guy's, um, like, I know the guy's girlfriend. And the guy's getting pissed off at, at the girl. <laughs> you know. And, yeah. I hear, it's, I hear, I hear that whole series so, so, so really well. Okay, so there's Angela, uh, Queen of Hell. Uh, number one. Awesome cover. Um, I want it because, like, oh, the reason I want it because I have Angela, first appearance, two, uh, two issues of it. I mean, like, two, two different variants of it. Uh, from first appearance in uh, Spawn. And then I have her as a figure. I still have the boxes. So now you've got her in Marvel. And you get my Marvel toy with it. Like that's what I was saying. Like I'm trying to like get the toy to go with that. And so I've like, I've got my Grin Pool and I've got to get the Grin Pool first appearance uh as um you know in Howard the Duck. To match that up. Um uh, same thing. I have my um you know I have my um Oh, is it a oh, comedian? I can't even say. Rocious, that's it. Rocious from Watchmen, and I have the um, I have the com comic books, and the hard, I think that hard cover, absolute, and also uh, the trade paperback, and so on, and also I think Warriors, was it Warriors or something like that, um, and some art covers as well, from like um, a um, a cardstock one-sided um cover prints right like huge like seriously like, like a bigger than a a three size just need to check one more thing yeah, we're almost done here this is such a long one because it was such a oh i better rush through this because i need to prepare for something else as you know all right so this is secret um secret this is so like You've got Bendis here, right? 
in DC, and before that, band this here and check it wall. And this is number six of eight. Uh, second, this is a free comic book. This is uh, a sneak preview of X Men Second Coming, an all new Second Coming prologue by Mike Carey and Stuart Emonen. Emonen, Emonen, I was can't pronounce his name. So this is that one. So it's a free comic book for that as a prologue. Uh, the other thing I like Mike Carey. Mike Carey, if I remember, it's the right Mike Carey. He did amazing run on Lucifer. And if you you should if you haven't read the Lucifer, if you're reading the current day Lucifer, go back and read the Mike Carey run. He was so good at it. I mean, he did a great job at it. Sorry, this is um, DC Spanner Galaxy number one from eighty four December eighty four. I was eleven. Uh, this is a couple others number three and number. four five of soul saga from top cow top cow is really cool they really they did the whole um supernatural series really well like with uh, witchblade and you know darkness and i love darkness you know read the whole um series until the architect or something like that. tarzan um carson of venus um i guess it's yeah it's, i guess it's a crossover uh and it was great. I got, I got a judge trading there. All right. So there's uh, Mike Peter Milligan was the right was one of the was the last writer on the first 300 issues of Hellblazer. So he was the last one on that. So I was quite happy to get one of these. And here we go. This is Edie Campbell and Alan Moore from Hell, Volume Six. Being a melon driver in 16 parts. So this is a uh, this is a it's a trade paperback collection from Kitchen Sink Press. All right, so cool. I didn't expect that. I'm so happy. And I've, some of you would have seen it. We, he was talking about this on the live chat. So nobody bit on it. So I'm going to go the silly princess. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, cr cross gen. I, I don't think I've got any cross gen. I used to have them. So Route 66, 666. Shadow. Spider Woman. That's been like. Uh, cut up and stuff. P bits missing. Um, this is from the English uh, UK version. Um, X Men Forty One. Is this one? That's a pretty cool cover. Um, Hardcore. There's a whole bunch of uh, Valiant classic Valiant comics. Hardcore. Ryan the Future Force. And if you're if you're re recently reading, um, you know. Um, what's more, Valiant Comics, the new revised one. Um, you've got, you know, these are the older versions of them. So you got Rai of the Future Force, and you got Rai, Solar, the Man of the Atom. You know, just awesome, like older stuff. And they're pretty good, Nick, too. This is number one of um, Yearbook, Eternal Warrior Yearbook. Right, and it's got this at the back. All right, that's his first of his spikes in it. Spectacular Spider-Man. What if starring Jug Juggernaut. Blaze. I don't remember re ever reading a Blaze comic book. Um, and it was like, only um, first time I saw it was a movie. And so you got uh, Magic the Gathering. Um, New Mutants. DC Fate. All right. Outlaws. Uh, number five. Legend of the Man Called Hood. So it's, yeah. Okay. Uh, never read that. So there's Talon. I think it's Talon. I think Talon's, yeah, Talon's part of the, um, uh, what is it called? Um, Batman Universe. Uh, Court of Owls. That's by Scott Snyder. And the establishment, Addington from Wildstorm. And Dark Reign, Secret. Warriors number five, and that's it. Um, and like I said, such a huge lot of free comics because you know it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's just I'm just so yeah, I'm so happy to get these. So I gotta kind of like figure out what I want to keep, what I don't want to keep. Uh, and 
No, I mean, I don't want to keep, I mean, I want to keep them all, but what I can give, set up little packs of three or four, of three or five comic sets, where we can just basically say, hey, this for kids to read, and we'll get really cheap, and yeah. Um, so, join me later on, we're going to have a whole bunch of guests appearing on um, the Plunge, Plunge um, stream, um, live stream, I've got local guests i have hawk from the us hopefully he'll be on we have a couple guys from around new zealand and um and you know our, our uh cosplayer lynette will hopefully be here so around about five six people we're going to only spend an hour everybody's going to have a bit of thing to talk about what we're doing um also there's mark and um yeah so hopefully yeah we'll have a quick one other thing and that'll be done and then you guys can basically bid on you know the auction that's there and um hopefully we'll be able to raise a couple of hundred that we can put towards the boosted project which will they will match a dollar to a dollar so whatever we raise on this side be dollar to dollar so please bid and um and i'll remind you again later and yeah i'm, I'm hoping that we can get something and I'll, I'll be throughout the week i'll be putting some more comics in I haven't gone through all my catalog, so that's been hard for me to figure out what I should be putting in, what I shouldn't, um, especially because I'm, I'm kind of like a hoarder when it comes to comics, because like I said, I love books, and I love comic books, and um, it's hard to let go of things you love, right? But I'm slowly, you know, there's a pile here of, you know, stuff, you know, that I'm sort of like putting out at cheap, and it's, you know, figurines, graphic novels, Star Wars, marvel you know hoping there will be some dc stuff in there coming as well so please um and also you know i've, I've done a little um you know a special incredible one-off thing uh of the red logo on it on the white shirt uh i mean white blank page and numbered it one of one so that's the only one that exists so yeah um if you, you know check it out and and about that, so the rest of the story for that will be going online. About March, I'll start working on it again to put all that out. And I'll, I'll be just leaving it as it is, which will look like an animated series, or a cross between manga animated. So there won't be much shading or anything like that because we're just going to do it for web because we've got a new series coming out, which is actually you know, top tier looking at artwork, hopefully. And yeah, and we'll get that printed. Probably around the end of the year, we want to get all six issues basically for almost all six done before we release it so thank you so much for hanging out with me for this one uh it's it's more like trying to keep me awake because i haven't slept since yesterday but i thought if i if i go and lie down i won't wake up and i'll miss out on doing this so thank you so much for hanging out with me guys i appreciate it and um yeah um wherever you are be, be safe and farewell